Hear my voice, O oh God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O oh God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. Shall glory.
מזמור סמ"ד למנצח מזמור לדוד. שמע אלוהים קולי ושיחי, מפחד אויב תיצור חגי. תסתירני מסוד מרעים, מרגשת פועלי אבן, אשר שננו חרב לשונם, דרכו חיצם דבר מר, לראות בם מסתרים תם, פתאום יורוהו ולא יראו, יחזקו למו דבר רע, יספרו לטמון מוקשים, אמרו מי יראה למו. יחפשו עולות, תאמנו חפץ, מחופש בקרב איש ולב עמוק. ויורם אלוהים חץ פתאום, היו מכותם. ויכשילוהו עליהם ולשונם, יתנודדו כל רועבם. ויראו כל אדם, ויגדילו פועל אלוהים, ומעשהו השכילו. ישמח צדיק בדוני וחס אבו ויתהללו כל ישרי לב. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret as a perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. them hard work that are the key to success. Now come here so we chill. I make them know the practice so we'll have to fulfill. We come to practice high. I burn out all the faith and them I burn out all the spine. I rise up with the truth. I still come to motivate the youth. All right. Them I wonder how we do it and survive. Them I wonder how we do it and stay alive. Them I wonder how we do it and survive. To the cleanest how we are and true and I'm gonna compromise. I wonder how we do it and arise. I wonder how we do it and survive. I wonder how we do it and we still have stay alive. And the cleanest how we are and we survive. Alright, it's not about the fun, it is not about the fame. Long jetty that is the name of the game. You have to know how to claim and know to reclaim. Well, righteousness, me say, we have to come proclaim. Manifest. Well, righteousness, they get to use them on the stress. The Rise above the sea and give a lot of praises to his majesty. The the Rise above the grudge and tell them that they want them must carry some love. Up the top is high and burn out all the traitors and the spies from his chest. It's not about your vocal and it's not about your belt. It's not about your vanity, it's not about your wealth. It's not about your counter and it's not about your self. It's all about the others and it's all about yourself. It's all about the elite philosophy and no one else. It's not about your dollars and it's not about your self. It's all about the cleaner and the clear contents. The prophecy may say it makes sense. Yo! For the better and the best. And tell them hard work that are the key to success. I'm 
مزمور سلسا سوست بقنف سلسا رات لما زمران علقا يداويت مزمور عبيتو ودان تبلم منكو جزيت سلو تين سماين كتالاتم فرحات نفسي نادم ككفو تشنگو كامس انجو تشن بزات سوري اندى سيف ملاسات شونا سلو مرارا نگر لما درك نسوهن بسور لما اندف قستن قترو دنگتی ندفتار، ای فرومم، لنر سول راست چوک فون اگر ناسنی، وقت مدنی سور زند ثمک کرو، من نسیای نانی بلند، آمد این فلگوار، صفت نم مالکو، یه سوی اوست آسابون نالب بیت الک آنو، زیابیرم مکف کفی، یه دنگت فلاس آیا قصلا چو، آن دبته چو یا سنکلا چو. يمي عواتشوم هلو يدنك قطان سوج هلو فرو يك زيابير نم سرات هنا قرو سراو نم ما ستوى سعادك بك زيابير دس سلوى برسوم يتامنا لباتشوم يك أنا هلو هللي لالو Psalm 64 Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer Preserve my life from fear of the enemy Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall seize them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory.
למנצח מזמור לדוד. שמע אלוהים קולי ושיחי, מפחד אויב תיצור חיי. מזמור ס"ד למנצח מזמור לדוד. מזמור ס"ד למנצח מזמור לדוד. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrow, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. תראני מסוד מרעים, מרגישה כה לעוון, אשר שננו כחרב לשונם, דרכו חיצם דבר מר, גירות המסתרים תם, פתאום יורו ולא יראו, יחזיקו למו דבר רע, יספרו לטמון מוקשים, אמרו מראה למו, יחפשו עולות סמנו חפש מחופש, בקרב איש ולב עמוק, ויורם אלוהים חץ פתאום היו מכותם, ויחשילו רוח עליהם ולשונם, יתנודדו כל רועביו, ויראו כל אדם, ויגידו כה על אלוהים. מעשהו השכילו, ישמח צדיק בדוני, וחסבו, התהללו כל ישרי לב.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Profit rides again. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, greetings, greetings, greetings. Good evening, good evening, good evening here on the live stream. The blog talk still having various technical issues, but here we're in the live stream here. Gonna focus on today's daily psalm. One of the things we learned about the study concerning disciples and disciples even of Yeshua and disciples you know, um, Judaically, Hebraically speaking, the Psalms, the Psalms are very, very important, you know, um, tool in learning and growing. And so we have the daily Psalms we're going to focus on today's daily Psalm, but we also have a Torah reading and feeding here, the 11th, known as Vayagash or Vayagash. And he drew near, speaking of Yehuda, Judah, in the scene with Joseph and concerning, you know, brother Brother Benjamin, Benjamin, very, very interesting. Going to ride up, ride up right here. We have the third and fourth aliyah. Now, the Torah reading and feeding, usually there's seven readers and there's seven parts of the Torah reading, feeding, you know, the portion. So here for this Torah reading and feeding, the third, for the third and the fourth aliyot here for the third and fourth days here, we're at the wisdom Wednesday, the Wednesday podcast. Today's daily psalm as a prophet rise again. Psalm 64, right there. A three in one. We had the dub wise, also a mix there with the English KJV. We had the Hebrew, right? A plain reading, the Chabad reading as well, the chant, and the royal Amharic, right there. Today's daily psalm that's going to be the discipleship. You can say the reasoning, getting into more of the song. But here, 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 let's ride up, ride up, ride up. Shema, ah, yes, right, yes, I, here, here, here. Glory to the word, glory be to the word, glory be to the sound, glory be to the power. Kabur lek alu, kabur le dimsu, kabur le hailu, kabur le albinu, le melkeinu, glory be to thy father and thy king, kabur le abuna, le ngusna. Glory be to the first power of the Trinity. Shame Yeshua Ha Mushiach in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. Be Gitachna, Be Medhanatachin, Be Jesus Christos Sim. Amen. Shema Ah Yisrael here here third and fourth Alio Vayagash Vayagash Yes Sir Shema Ah Yisrael Sima 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 Hear this Shema Ah Yisrael 
for the Shel Shi, Shel Shi, Aliyah, for the third Aliyah, third up offering, third reading. Here, here, here for this Shabbat, Wayikash. Here picking up the first book of Moshe, the Moshe, the Hebrew book known as Genesis, here from the Sefer Bereshith, here picking up Genesis chapter 45, verse 8, for the Shalishi Aliyah. So now, not you that sent me, sent I hither, but Elohim, but ha Elohim, we ata. So now and now we and ata and now we ata ata. Lo atem shalachetem otia hena hena hena. So now, not you, not y'all, not y'all. It was we ata ata. Lo atem lo not atem not you all not y'all. Sent me hither, shalachetem oti, hena, but Elohim, ki ha Elohim. And he hath made me, and he hath made I a father to Pharaoh, ki ha Elohim, wayasimen, le'av, le'faroh, and Lord, and Adon. And Adon and Atem, Aton, Atem, and Adon of all his house, of all his bait. Ula Adon le kol beito, 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 and a ruler. U Moshel, U Moshel, U Moshel, U Moshel. And a ruler throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. What a lo atem shalachetem oti hena ki ha Elohim waya simeni leav lefaro ula adon lechol la beto u moshela bechol la aretz Mitzrayim. Hey she, hey she, go up. Aliyah up to Avi, to my father, and say to him, Thus saith thy son, Yosef, Ha Elohim, the true good, the true God, Elohim, hath made I Adon, Atem, Aton, hath made I Adon of all Mitzrayim. Come down to I, tarry not, and thou the I shalt dwell in the land of Goshen. And thou, the I, shall be near to me, near to I, thou, the I, and thy children, and thy children's children, and thy flocks, and thy herds, and all that thou hast. And there will I nourish thee for yet five years of famine, lest thou and thy household and all that thou hast come to poverty. And behold, your eyes see and the eyes of Achi, Binyamin, and the eyes of my Ach, Benjamin, Binyamin, that it is my mouth that speaketh to you. And ye and y'all shall tell my father of all my glory in Mitzrayi, and of all that ye, that y'all have seen, and ye and y'all shall haste and bring down Avi, his Ahaya, and he fell upon his brother Binyamin, Benjamin's neck, and, and wept. And Binyamin and Binyam, Benjamin wept upon his neck. Moreover, he kissed all his brethren and wept upon them. And after that, his brethren talked with him. Yosef, Joseph. Joseph's brethren blessed and sent to Yaakov and sent to Jacob, and the fame, and the fame thereof was heard in Paro, in Pharaoh's bite, in Pharaoh's house, saying, Yosef's brethren are come, and it pleased Paro, Pharaoh well, and his servants. And Paro, Pharaoh, 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 the great house, said to Yosef, Say to thy brethren, This do ye, this do y'all. 
laid your beasts, and go. Get you to the land of Canaan, and take your father and your households, and come to me, come to I, and I will give you the good of the land of Mitzrayim, of the land of Egypt, and ye and y'all shall eat the fat of the land. And here, 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 Shema Israel, here, here, here for the Rabbi, for the Rabbi, for the fourth Aliyah, fourth up offering, offering up here for this Shabbat, Shabbat, Wayikash, Sabbath, and he came near and he drew near. Here, picking up first book of Moses, Genesis, Genesis chapter 45, here at verse 19, for the Rabbi, for the Rabbi, for the fourth. With Ata, with Ata, Soreta, Zota, Esu, Kehu, Lachem, Me, Aret, Mitrai, Egalota, La, Tapkem, Wea, Lina, Shechem, Una, Satem, Eta, Vikem, Ua, Batem. Now, thou, the I, and the I, with Ata. With Atta and the I, male, art commanded, this do ye, this do y'all. With Atta, Tsueta, Zota, Esu. Now thou art commanded, this do ye, this do y'all. With Atta, Tsueta, Zot, Esu. Take your wagons, take you wagons, take you wagons out of the land of Mitzrayim. Out of the land of Egypt. Kehu lachem me aret amitrai. Kehu lachem. Take for you all. Take for y'all. Kehu lachem me aret amitrai. Take you, take your wagons out of the land of Mitrai. For your little ones, for your little ones, and for your wives. And bring your father, bring your father, bring your father, bring your father, bring and come, and come. Who lakem me aret mitzrayim? Egalot wagons, egalot lit apikem for your little ones, lit apikem ul lina shekem, and for your wives, we lin shekem for your wives, una na. Una satem, un satem, 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 un satem, and bring your father and come. Una satem etavi kem, u batem. Also, regard not your stuff, for the good of all the land of Mitzrayim, yours. And the B'nai Yisrael, the children of Yisrael, and the sons of Yisrael did so. And Yosef, and Yosef, and Yosef, and Yosef, and Yosef, Yawasaf, and Yosef gave them wagons, galot, according to the command of Paro, Pharaoh, the great house, and gave them provision for the way, and for the way. To all of them, he gave each man changes of raiment. But to Binyamin, to Binyam, to Benjamin, he gave 300 pieces of kesef, of silver, and five changes of raiment. And to his father, he sent after this man, 10 asses laden with the good things of Mitzrayim, and 10 she asses laden with corn and bread and meat and food for his father, by the way. So he sent his brethren away, and they departed. And he said to them, See, see that ye, that y'all, fall not out by the way. See that ye, that y'all, fall not out by the way. The way, the way, the way. Why yomer elehem al tirigazu badarek. Al tirigazu badarek. See that y'all fall not out by the way. And they went up and they alliated up and they alliated up. And they alliated up and they went up out of Mitzrayim and came into the land of Canaan to Yaakov, their father. 
and told him, saying, Yo, save Joseph, yet alive, and he, governor over all the land of Mitzrayim. And Yaakov and Jacob's heart fainted, for he believed, he amen them not, and told him, saying, Wayagidu, Wayagidu lau, and told him, saying, Wayagidu lau, Lemor od. Yosef, hai, the Yosef, hai, hai. And they told him, saying, Joseph is yet alive. Od Yosef, hai. With ki hu, Moshel, be kol aret amitraim. And he is Moshel. He is ruler over all the land of Mitzrayim, over all the land of Egypt. With ki hu. Moshel bekola areta mitrai waya ya faga liboa ki aloa he mean lahem lahem and his heart fainted and his heart and his heart and his heart fainted his heart fainted his heart waya waya fag waya faga libo and his heart Fainted. Why liboa ki lo he mean lahem? For he believed he amained them not ki lo he mean lahem ki lo he mean lahem? For he amained lo he mean lahem them. And they told him all the words of Yosef. All the words of Joseph. Why dabru layo et kola dibre Yosef, which he said to them. To them. To them. To them. Asher diber elehem. And when he saw, and when he saw the wagons, which Yosef, which Joseph had sent to carry, had sent to carry, carry, carry. Carry, 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 carry. Why are it a galota asher shalach? Yo seifa la seita o to, to, to. The spirit, the irate of Yaiko, the spirit of Jacob, their father, their ab, their father revive, revive, revive. What he? What he ruach, what he ruach ya ekoba abi hem, hem, the spirit of Jacob of Yaakov, their father revived. What he ruach ya ekob abi hem, 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 Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. What does Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Ahad, Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Lord, our God, the Lord is one. What does that really mean? And why is it important? Baruch Ata Adonai Baruch Abba Yerushalayim Baruch Ata Adonai Baruch Abba Yerushalayim
ሽመላ ሽመላ አገራችን ኢየሩሳሌም ገና Psalm 64 Hear my voice O God in my prayer preserve my life from fear of the enemy preserve my life from fear of the enemy preserve my life from fear of the enemy Psalm 64 Hear my voice O God in my prayer preserve my life from fear of the enemy hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not they encourage themselves in an evil matter they commune of laying snares privily they say who shall see them they search out iniquities they accomplish a diligent search both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep is deep is deep god shall shoot at them with an arrow suddenly shall they be wounded so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of god for they shall wisely consider of his doing the righteous shall be glad in the lord and shall trust in him and all the upright in heart shall glory shall glory shall glory shall glory shall glory Psalms. According to the Royal Order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, we have the Psalmic dialect. Here, here to leave an overview of today's L-A-C-B. daily psalm, 64th Psalm. Chapter 64, Psalm 64, the Psalmic dialect psalm. According to the Royal Order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, after the order of Maliki, we have the 64th Psalm and it's themed divine divine judgment divine judgment in his sufferings at the hands of unscrupulous men the psalmist and I and I after enumerating their evil deeds utters his and I and I conviction that Jah will judge and condemn them condemn them all of them now, the language resembles that of earlier psalms, which tell of Saul's, Shaul's persecution, and Shaul's false prosecution. Today's daily psalm, the Samek Dalet, La Menat Each, Mizmor Le Dawid. For the leader, for the chief musician, the chief musician, the chief musician. A psalm of David, a psalm of David. So today's daily psalm, the 64th psalm, the theme is divine, divine, divine judgment. Today's daily psalm. So let's just go through an overview. We have verses 1 to 7, KJV wise, King James Version wise, verses 1 to 7. Now note that we have a superscription, so that means in the Hebrew, the first verse is a superscription, and the second verse in the Hebrew is the first verse in the KJV because they do not include the superscription as a verse. Just to note that right there, but we will be referring to it from the KJV for the majority of the Habarim, the brothers and the sisters who are reading and hopefully studying along with I and I and we. So grab your pen, your paper, and bring a willing and a, and a repentive heart and mind, a regenerated and regenerating heart and mind. Yes, I give ear, give ear, give ear. So we have verses 1 to 6, 1 to 6. One to six is a prayer for protection, for protection, for protection. And in verses seven to ten, Jah will thwart, thwart the schemers and their schemes and their conspiracies against I and I, and against I and I, the children of His divine majesty, against His divine majesty, but against I and I, because they hate I and I. Because of he who be, who he be, is divine majesty. And we're calling for divine judgment in the Psalmic Dalet Psalm. So we have two main parts in today's daily psalm, verses 1 to 6. Prayer for protection. 
And in verses 7 to 10, Jah, Ha-Elohim, the true good, the true God, will thwart the schemers as Rastaman and the elders. I remember hearing the Rastaman say, kill cramp and paralyze every weak heart conception. Wipe it out of creation. Jah will thwart. He will kill cramp or paralyze their weak heart conception, their plots, the plots, the conspiracies against his divine majesty and I and I and we as we call for divine judgment today's daily psalm for the leader for the leader for the leader to the chief musician the psalm of David hear my prayer hear my prayer O Elohim hear my prayer hear my voice O Elohim in my prayer hear my voice Shema Elohim Koli Be Sichi Bitsichi or Bitsichi 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 Shema Elohim Koli Bitsichi Mia Pahada Oyeb Tis or Hayai Mia Pahada Oyeb Tis or Hayai Hear my voice Elohim Shema Shema Elohim Koli B'sichi In my complaint KJV translates as In my prayer In my complaint B'sichi 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 Mi pachad Mi pachad Oyev Titzor Chayai Preserve my life From the terror from the terror, the terror, the terror. KJV says, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. I don't know how many of the Havarim recall we had the vlog and the teaching on is all fear, fear, and bringing forward from the studies that all fear is not fear. So often we have words translated as fear in the scripture, which is not the same underlying Hebraic word right here. The more correct word, the mi pachad, this sort of fear is terror, or some would say dread. Mi pachad, mi pachad, hayai. Preserve my life from the terror, from the terror of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, of the ratchet, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Tasati reini. Mi soda mi raim, me rigal sham, me rigal shat slika, me rikshat, me rikshat po ele, po ele awen, po ele awen. From the tumult, the insurrection, the tumult. From the tumult of the workers of iniquity. Who have wet their tongue like a sword and have aimed their arrow. A poisonous, a poisonous word. Asher shan, shana, shannu. Asher shannu, shannu. Ka khareba li shonam. Darakuwa khitsama davara mar. KJV brings this out right here. We're at the third verse. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Now, note this in the KJV, King James Version. Verse 3, today's daily Psalm 64 and 3 says, Who wet their tongue like a sword. Note the end there is italicized. Bend their bows, the word their bows, to shoot is italicized. The owls is not, even is italicized, and bitter words is not. Now, according to the teaching, here's how we read it now, right? Now, we read it with the italicized words, now with owl. Who wet their tongue like a sword, bend the owls, bitter words. Who wet their tongue like a sword, bend the owls, bitter words. The italicized words are not there in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew, Asher, Asher, Shannu, Asher, Shannu, Aka, Chereba, Lishonam, Darku, Achitzama, Dararamar, 
Davar mar, davar mar, who have wet their tongue like a sword and have aimed to bend the arrows, have aimed the arrow, a poison, a poison word, davar, davar mar, the davar mar, davar mar, that they may shoot in secret places at the blameless. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear and fear not. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Lirot, lirota, ba misa tarima tam. Pitom, pitom, yoruhu, yoruhu. And they do not respect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and they do not respect. KJV brings it out. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect, the Tom. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Now note that the word fear here in the fourth verse and the word fear that we have in the first verse of today's daily psalm, the 64th psalm, is not the same word in the Hebraics, in the Hebraics of it all, just to bring that out. See, here in the uh, Sefer, Sefer Tehillim, right, the, the, the salsa that we have, the English and the Hebrew, we can compare and contrast, and then we also compare and contrasting with the KJV. So we have the word right here, the phrase, And they do not respect. In the first verses, it's preserved my life from the terror. Mi pachad, mi pachad oyev, mi pachad oyev, the terror of the oyev, the oyev, the enemy. Tizor chayai, tizor chayai, preserve my life. Here in the fourth verse, according to KJV, the fourth verse here, we have, we have, Li rota ba misatari matam, that they may shoot in secret places at the blameless, KJV says, King James Version says, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. At the perfect, the word tam, we're going to bring it down as we go through this. First, let's go through these, these first six verses right here. And then we're going to double, double around again and then go through some of the key words. All right, Habari? So going to the next verse, going to the fifth verse. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They say, who shall see them? They encourage one another in an evil, right, an evil matter. They strengthen and encourage you. In a matter, in a word, an evil word, an evil thing, a ratchet thing, an evil matter. Amru. Me. Yira lamo mi yira yire yire point here yire lamo mi yire lamo. They ask who would see them. They encourage one another in an evil matter. They confer, converse, converse. They conversate of laying sneers. Yisaprua litomona mokashim. They ask, Amru. They say, they speak in the sense of asking me, who? Yirelamo, who would see? Who would see them? They encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying sneers, privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. Verse 6. Verse 6. Yah, 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 Tamanu, Tamnu, Chefetz, Chefetz, Mechupas, Mechupas, Wik, 
Arabe ish. We leva amok. We leva amok. We leva amok. They search out iniquities. They have accomplished a diligent search even in, in the inward thought of every one and the deep heart. And the deep heart. So here we have Habarim, the first section of today's daily psalm, verses 1 to 6. And we're using the KJV as just the baseline right there, but bringing forward the light of the cipher, the sefer to Halim and the Hebrew. Right, to, to clarify. So the first section is the prayer. The prayer for protection. We say guidance, ja guide and ja protection. Word, sound, power. First word, first word right here, here, to hear my voice. The voca, word, word, sound, the sound, the sound. Shema, 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 Elohim, Mokoli, Be'esechi. Be'sechi, hear my voice, Elohim, in my complaint. Be'sechi, be'sechi, in my complaint. Here it says, in my prayer, KJV, in my complaint, preserve, preserve my life from the fear, KJV says, but this fear is the pachad, pachad, the dread, the terror, miya pachad da oyev. Tizor Hayai, Tizor Hayai, preserve my life, Tizor Hayai, Tizor Hayai, preserve my life, Mi Pahad Oyeb, from the terror, the Pahad, Pahad, Pahad Oyeb, preserve, key word, Tizor, Tizor, this verb, as well as hide, hide that we have in verse 2, the word hide, are in the what's called Hebraically the imperfect mood, which may be rendered by the imperative, particularly in the prayer, as we have right here. The literal translation is thou wilt, thou wilt, thou shalt, thou wilt preserve, thou wilt hide. This is preferred by some of the you know, exegetes, exegetes of it all, as indicating that the psalmist and I and I and I in the word sound power immediately follows his opening cry for help, immediately following I and I opening cry and call for help with the assurance that it will be heard. And this right here reflects the teaching of Robeinu Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know, when we, when we pray, we ask, right, to know that we have received, right, calling those things which be not as though they were. So it's interesting in looking at the Hebrew and the particular tenses, what's called the imperfect mood, right, or the imperative, rendering by the imperative, thou wilt preserve, thou will hide, thou will preserve. Shima, Shima, Elohim, Koli, Abisichi, Mi, Pahad, Oyeb, Tisor, Hayai, thou will preserve my life. From the terror of the enemy, the terror of the enemy, the strong fear, the dread, right? The strong fear, the dread which he arouses, which the enemy, which the enemies arouse in I, in an I, in I, in I. Whatever those enemies, right? The world flesh and the satanic seclorum, those, what the terror, right? The, the terror, right? The, the dread. Alright, it says, 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 don't let that dread be your dread. <laughs> yes, I, Rastafari, preserve I and I life from the terror of the enemy, those who seek the end of I and I, and we. Verse 2. Tasa tireni, tas tireni, tas tireni misod. Mi ra'im, mi ra'im. Hide me from the counsel of the Evil doers, me reim, me reim, tasati reini, me soda, me reim. From the two mode of the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, me rigashata po ele, po ele, aven, po ele, aven, aven, po ele, aven. From the tomb, O KJV says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, the sword, the secret counsel of the ratchet, from the insurrection, the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. 
insurrection, the tumult. A good connection right there, the insurrection, the tumult, the council, the evil council, the council, the tumult, the uh, secret council, all right? The secret council, the idea of the sword, me sword, me sword, the secret council, me rae. Hide me, you shall hide me. Tasatireni, tasatireni, you will hide me. You're hiding me, you will hide me. May a rikshata po ele awen, po ele aven, right? From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Secret plotters and plots and plottings. We're speaking of here the twofold, in this one verse here, verse two. The first part is speaking of the secret plotting, the secret scheme, the whisper campaign, right? And then the tumult or the insurrection is the open assault. So when you see the open assault come, that's because they've been spending busy, busy with their secret conspiracy, their plotting. So the verbs connected with these nouns, they also occur in the second psalm. The second psalm, round about verse 1. This is very, very interesting here because according to the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews in this time, in this particular season right here of the year, the previous psalm, right, second psalm, a plot against Jah's anointed, right, against the king of kings Christ, and I, and I, and I, Rastafari. So we see that there is a particular theme according to the royal order of Ethiopian Hebrews in this season as we tried it, even in this time of the season, right, in, in the dark moons of the year right here, right, to protect our, preserve I and I life from the terror of the enemy, hiding I and I from the secret counsel of the evildoers and from the tumult and the open assault and the insurrection of the workers of Awen, Awen, Po'ele, Awen, 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 vanity, who have wet their tongue like a sword. They have wet their tongue. Asher, Shananu, Shananu, Ka Khareba, Lishonam, Ka like a sword, lishonam their tongue, shananu, shananu, they have wet. Tongue like a sword, tongue like a sword. Kahareb lishonam, their tongue like a sword. We have Psalm 55, round about verse 22. We also have Psalm 57, round about verse 5. And then we have the B part of the verse right here where it says, And have aimed the arrow, a poison word. Have aimed the arrow, darku chitsam, chitsam, davarmar, 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 the davarmar, the davarmar. Now, here in the KJV it says that they, Right, who wet their tongue like a sword. Now, there's the italics if you're looking at the KJV. Just take out the italics or read it without the italics, and you'll get the force of the Hebraic, even in the translation. Who wet their tongue like a sword. Bend the owls. Bitter words. See, the bending of the owls, the bending of the owls is in the ancients the way the aim is taken. This is why the, from the Hebraics and the Sefer Tehillim brings out and have aimed the owl. What owl have they aimed? Davar mar. Davar mar. Davar mar. See, mar, the bitter, the rebellious, the bitter words, the angry words. Right? Those who are captives of Satan in their anger. That's what the scripture says. Don't let the sun go down in your anger, the bitterness. Mixed up moods and attitudes. Some of you think, oh, woo, woo, woo. It's just naturally be just angry, you know, and angry and try to say, well, the Lord is angry. You know, the Lord hates Esau. You know what I mean? Well, let's see who be, we be. You're trying to play God. You're going to play yourself. Watch it. Watch it. So here are these bitter words, these poison words, right? Aim their arrows. We have this also in Psalm 58, round about verse 8. A poison word is a bitter word or a bitter matter. They, 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 they're embittered over something, right? Like when it says, don't let the sun go down in your anger, right? See, w when you do that, first of all, if you know better, if you heard the word that said, let, let, you know, don't let the sun go down in your anger, and you go ahead and you make excuses for anger, you know? You have to be born again. You've got to let go of that Satan. You've got to let go of that anger. There's a principle here that you need to understand. Stop playing God, right? Stop playing Jacques. He's only playing yourself. Let go of that anger. It leads to that bitterness, 
when we talk about the mar, mar, and you know, marara, and and also connected with rebellion. You'll see that the word bitter, bitterness, and then the rebellion goes together. Right, that bitter word, that bitter matter. See, the phrase evil matter in verse 5, it suggests the meaning here to be a serious matter. So serious a matter, it's a deadly scheme, it's a deadly conspiracy. Both the fact of who and what they're conspiring against, and then the response to that. Either way, see, the conspiracy against John and I and I, it's so serious because should they be successful in their plot and their conspiracy against John's anointed, what will be the consequence? And then, them not being successful, what will be the consequence of the response from John and from John people? Well, this is the first response to call for divine judgment. Verse 4, that they may shoot in secret places. In secret places at the blameless. KJV says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. I want you to note that right there. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They have no respect. There's no reverence. See, that fear is not the same as the fear in verse 1. The pachad. The pachad fear. All right? This fear is the yer, like the yerat elohim. They don't have any respect. Right? They don't have any reverence or respect of Jah or of Jahweh. You see, because their anger and their bitterness has led them astray. Right? They need to repent before it's too late, but perhaps it's too late for these. Right? Since they have already shot in secret places at the blameless. Li rot, li rot, li rot. Ba, ba misatarim tam, ba, ba mistarim, ba mistarim tam, li rota ba mistarim tam, tam, the tam. This is what Yaakov, remember Jacob? Jacob is called a tam ish, he's tam ish, he's, he's dwelling, right, in ohalim in tents, he's a, he's a perfect man, even Noch. Right? He was called Tom and Tamam. He's, he's Tamim. He's, he's perfect in his generation. This word Tom. Right? Perfect. Complete. Right? So one of them said, whoa, 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 whoa. There's nothing perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up for a moment. Hold up. What does Tom mean? The blameless, the perfect in John sight, in John way, truth and life. So they're not aiming at ones who are defective in Yahweh, but they're aiming at those who are blameless in Yahweh, and suddenly do they shoot. They shoot off what? They shoot off the mouth. They shoot off the lip. They talk, talk, talk. Pitom, pitom, yorhua, wilo, yia, rau. Suddenly do they shoot at him. Pitom, pitom, pitom. Pitom your ruhu, your ruhu, pitom your ruhu, lo ye yarao, lo ye rao. Suddenly do they shoot at him and they don't respect. They don't respect Jah. They don't have no respect of Jah. That's the father of Jah, way, truth, and life. In secret places, we have this in Psalm 10, around about verse 8, as well as in Psalm 17, around about verse 12. Fear not. They don't have a respect or a reverence of Elohim. Or of man. They fear not Elohim. They fear not man. The mark of the true cross, that vertical and the horizontal relationship is not upon them. It's not upon their life. It's not in their sight. Thus they do what they do. Right? Knowing what they know, they do what they do. And they encourage one another in an evil matter. They encourage one another. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying sneers privily. They talk about how we're going to get this righteous one. Right. Who they be? Of course, they will they lie and say that that one is ratchet, you know, in order to encourage themselves in their evil, right, matter. They commune of laying sneers privily, secretly. And this old big body was it? Then come forward. No, they have to do it secretly, right? And they do it so secretly that they say to each other, who shall see them? They feel confident, right, in the falseness. <laughs> Of the wanty, wanty, wanty victory against the right, they're not, they're not gonna see it, alright? They're not gonna see it, alright? Because they encourage one another in an evil matter. They converse of laying sneers secretly, secretly. Yehazaku, Yehazaku lamo, Yehazaku, Hazak, Hazak. They strengthen themselves, they encourage themselves. Yehazaku lamo, Dabar ra, Dabar ra. 
Dabara, 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 right in a ra, matter, ratchet matter. They converse of laying snares, Isapuru, Lit Amon, Mok, Mok Ashim, Mok Ashim, the Mok Ashim, like, like to catch birds, like to catch, you know, prey, right? And they ask, Amru, me, Yira El Amo, me, Yira El Amo. Me and I know. Who, 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 who would see them? They strengthen themselves. They do everything in their power, so to speak, to make their designs effective in their ability and their capacity. They live hard against Jah righteous people, Jah righteous way. I and I and I of the King of Kings, of His Divine Majesty. And then they say, who, who, who's going to see them? Right? Well, Jah will take no notice, they think. They think that Jah doesn't take any notice of their proceedings. See, here it brings out the idea of Psalm 10, round about verse 11. Right? And they search out iniquities. Let's go forward. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward, number thought there is italicized, both the inward of every one and the heart deep. So if we read it without the italicization, because those words are not really there, are not there in the Hebrew. So we have the verse in KJV, they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. But if we then read it without that, we have the tightness of the Hebrew, the directness. They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward of every one and the heart deep. Both the inward of every one and the heart deep. Both the inward. The inward, the innermost of the innocence. Deep is deep, right? Covering this is deep, right? Very deep. Yach, yachpetsu, 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 olot. Yachpetsu, 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 olot. They search out iniquities. Olot, olot. Yach. Pursue, Yahid Pursu, Yahid Pursu, some of the Yahid Pursu, O Lord. Tamnu, Chefetz, Chefetz, Mechupas, Mechupas. They have accomplished a diligent, a diligent search, search, and they search in with Rev Ish, with Lev Amok, with Lev Amok. Even in the inward thought of everyone and the deep heart, we live amok, we live amok, and the heart amok, amok, deep. Search out, better they devise, they're devising, and, and it continues, we have perfected, they say. A carefully planned scheme and conspiracy, they say, and each man's inmost thought and heart is deep. They think they're deep. Mm. A morning commentator remarks, the only period in Dawid's and David's history which at all corresponds with this picture, with this word picture, would be his early life at the court of Shaul. So to give it a kind of a historical context, we'll have the early life and the early period at the court of Shaul in connection with Dawid, in connection with David. It's deep. Yes, 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 yes. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. 
All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. Hear, O Israel, hear, O Israel. A murder who, who's jealous and envious and this rage, this emotion, a certain type of a, I almost say a negative emotion, but a certain type of emotion that according to the Hebraic sense can be translated as a tumult. When we say mixed up moods and attitudes and rage, emotions, just sort to bring that out right there because when we noted this here again, you know, we said Chan, Chan. We have the secret plotting on one hand and then we have the open assault on the next hand. What is the secret plotting? It's a sword. And the word sword is very, very interesting. We have also touched on that particular word sound and even the sign sigil, right? Even in connection with the hand sign of his majesty, the sword, right? The sword. If you look at the Hebrew, getting into the Hebrew, one would be able to see that more clearly, right? But the secret, right? The secret counsel, as is brought out right here, let us go to this area of the psalm right here and get some clarity, getting into the Hebrew here, just even with, 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 with the baby steps, so to speak, right here. The secret counsel, the sword, a council, right? Council assembly, right? A familiar conversation, right? A divine, a circle of familiar friends, an assembly, company, right? The council itself. It's brought out here as a secret council or familiar converse, like an intimacy, like right? an intimacy with one to one, it can also be an intimacy, the sword. Right, the sword, the intimacy, also with our Elohim, the true good, the true God. Sword, the word is brought out as a session, a secret session. They're having secret councils, secret sessions against I and I. A session that is a company of persons who are in close, 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 close deliberation. By implication, it brings up the idea of a sense of intimacy, consultation, a secret, secret assembly, council, inward, inward sense. So we have council and we have the idea of secret. And the word sword comes from the Hebrew, yasad. Yasad, to be founded, fixed, established, to lay the foundation, to fix, to seat themselves close together, to sit in conclave, to be founded, established, appointed, ordained. The idea of foundation here, to sit down together, to gather the self, to counsel, to appoint, to take counsel. So this word is not always a bad or a negative word, but in the context here, what are they counseling in secret? Hide eye from the council of whose council is it? Well, it's the sword from the council Mirraim, 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 the Ra'a, Mirraim, from the bad, bad minded, from the secret council of the bad minded, the covetous, the envious, from the secret council of the evil doers. May Arim Shata Le Awain, from the insurrection. Right, so from the insurrection, that's a reading shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see some from the letters, may rig shot, may rig shot, may rig shot, po ele away, po ele away. Asha, shanu, ka rebel, shona, 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 shona. Yes, 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 yes. That was a local practice session. Little practice session right there, just share with the eye. But what was interesting is that word uh, rigshot. If you look at the the Hebrew, the latter Hebrew, as we say, everything takes time. Hebrew, you know? Hebrew, 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 Taking time with today's daily psalm, Psalm Samek, Samek Dalet. And at that particular verse right there, which we said in the KJV, I think it's verse 2, corresponds to the third verse in the Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. It's interesting because the, the Gimel in the Asherit, the later Hebrew, not the Paleo, the earlier Hebrew, but in the later Hebrew, the Asherit or the square Hebrew, the Gimel in some printing looks like or similar to the noon, the noon. So the G sound, the sigil in the later Hebrew is similar to the noon in some printing. So we had read it. We had read it as a practice session, but there were some things that we touched on there that in other, you know, sessions we didn't go into as much depth, including the sod, the sod and the samek, the letter samek, and the hand sign, the, the salutation of peace, some would call it, or the hand sign of practicus, depends on, you know, from what point of view. But we see the Hebrew letter sod, and sod, a, a secret, a counsel, like you said, not always in a negative sense, 
But in this context here, it's a secret counsel against the well-beloved, against, we could say, the anointed David the king, even as a counsel against the king of kings and I and I and I. But here, what's of interest is the the era that when we had read it, we had read it May, May, uh, what is it right here? May Rig, Rig shot. We read it as May Rain shot. But then going over it again, we, you know, there's something that didn't really vibrate with that. So looking at it a little more carefully, we saw a chant, the Gmail, we read the Gmail, the G sound as a, as a noon or as an end sound. But what we find particularly interesting about today's daily psalm here in the season, here at this ninth Torah portion reading and feeding, which is, we can say, Joseph, Yosef, Yawasaf, Ayusef, Joseph comes into prominence in that counsel even against their own brother, against Joseph and the envy and the jealousy. Even in today's daily psalm, we have Saul, Shaul, who is also an anointed. He was anointed. In other words, he was in that context, the Hebrew context of Moshiach, in the sense that he was officiated according to the Hebraic order and according to, say, Torah, and he was anointed to that office. And Dawid also anointed Moshiach, or in the later day sense, Christ. So we hear about one saying, well, Christians have fought against Christians, but in the true context, we see that there's nothing new under the sun. So just bringing that out a little bit more, but we was watching a, a film called, I think it was a HBO something, a limited series about the Intifada, Intifada, uh, Intifada, I think Intifada in Arabic, the uprising that occurred over there in what's known as the state of Israel between the, the, the land of Canaan, between the so-called Yehudi and the so-called Palestinians over there in that particular region. And in this particular film, there was this Ashari, uh, you know, Ashkenazim uh, psychologist, and she was explaining to, I guess, one of her, you know, one of her um, patients, you know, the whole psychological aspect from her point of view in Hebrew. And she had mentioned in connection with the emotions, something known as the regesh. And I rewound it a few times that she wrote it within the, 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 the cursive, the, the, the script, you know, form of Hebrew, like the cursive writing Hebrew. And so I noted it. So when going over today's daily psalm and seeing this little error near the end of the practice session, I went into the word a little bit more. I said, Chan, that's the same word that she was saying was emotion. So when we look in today's daily psalm, all right, Psalm 64, here, just zooming in right here, it's going to ride up with the Royal Amharic and continue in this sabbatical time, this Iowa right here. But the KJV here in verse 2, it says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. This is how KJV translates and have brought out the translation, Psalm 64, verse 2. So in zooming into the second part of the verse, from the insurrection, or in the Hebrew, we have it pointed as may rig shat, Paul Ele, or some might say for Ele, Paul Ele, the workers of Awain. Awain, or some Yehudi will point it as Avain, Avain, Avon, Avain. From the workers of perversity, Avain, Awain, in the Hebrew, the Awain, Avain is like nothingness. Awain, Avain is trouble and vanity, is wickedness, is ratchetness, is an idol also in a kind of specific sense or bringing that out right there, but hide, I and I, from the Council of the evildoers here in the Sefer Tehillim, the Hebrew translation, translation from the Hebrew, from the tumult. So this particular word, rig shat, is linked to the modern point of view of emotions as regesh, regesh. That's a chant. Tumult in one translation, the tumult of the workers of iniquity. Here, KJV says the insurrection. Now, we may get a lot of different ideas, you know, from, you know, this sound, insurrection, a rising up, a tumult. But in getting to the Hebrew roots of this, when we start to look into, well, what is the root sense? A regesh is defined as a tumultuous crowd. That's the H7285 from the H7283, pointed as ragesh, ragesh, to be tumultuous, tumultuous. KJV then translates this elsewhere as rage. Then we began to consider the etymology of the so-called word emotions, because not everything is an emotion. Even we mentioned from a scriptural, biblical point of view, um, like love and certain aspects and things like that are not really emotions. It's, it's like a state of being. It's like a certain vibration. It's like a field in that sense. But we have emotions. The E means outgoing. And of course, the word motion is a movement rage, movement, and then in connecting today's daily psalm here in the order, as well with the Torah portion, we have Joseph and his own brothers. This was not from some outside people, so forth and so on, who sold who into, we could say, who wanted to kill who or murder who, who's jealous and envious and this rage, this emotion, a certain type of a, 
I won't say negative emotion, but a certain type of emotion that according to the Hebraic sense can be translated as a tumult. When we say mixed up moods and attitudes and rage, emotions, just sort to bring that out right there, because when we noted this here again, you know, we said, Chan, we had misread that there. You know, we can say, well, it's because of the, you know, printing and the letters, some letters do look alike. However, just to own up to that, but even in that, in acknowledging that, you know, that, um, that error right there, we also got to see that this particular word is a key when we're speaking about so-called emotions within their true Hebraic sense and rage and insurrection and mixed up moods and attitude. It's almost like a flow, like a wave. This is why in the prophets, it usually says like, um, it uses like certain type of word pictures, like the sea. When Revelation talking about the sea, like the people's like a sea, like the, the waves, the rage of the waves and the, and the waves of the sea. But on the point right here, let's just ride up, ride up right here, brothers and sisters. Just took a little bit of a moment just to kind of explain that and also explain what we found within that. The regesh, regesh sense, emotions, outward movements, spontaneous eruptions, uprisings, right? And also the connection to what the psalm speaks about words, as His Majesty even says, you know, like subverting people by like confusing the language. And even within the Torah, the scriptures, the confusion of tongues and what words really mean brings us to the confusion that Babylon is. Yes, I. Right, the first Thank you. Rastafari. It's Friday. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. That was uh, audible right there. Just zooming in on verse three. But here, let's segue to the Royal Amharic. But first, we have the English come first right here. Royal Amharic. Today's daily psalm. And then get in a little more study of Psalm 64. Here, here. Dub Y. Today's daily psalm. Psalm 64. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. مزمور سلسا سوست فقنف سلسا رات لما زمران عليك آه يداوي تمزمور عبي تو ودان تبلم من كوكزية سألو تين سماي كتلاتم فرحات نفسي نادر ككفو وچنگو كامس انجو چن بزات سوري اند سيف ملاسا چونا سلو مرارا نگر لما درق نسوه ننبسور لما اندف قستن قطرو دنگتی ندفتن ای فرومم لن رسول راست چوک فون اگر ناتن و ات مدنی سور زند تماک کرو من نسیای نانی یلاد آمد این فرلگوان صفت نم معلقو یه سوی وست عصب نالب بیت علق آنو زیابیرم کف کفیل یه دنگت فلات آیا قصلا چوال آن دبته چوی اسنا کلا چوال يم يا واتشوم هلو يدنا قطان سوتش هلو فرو يجزي عبيرنم سراتنا قرو سراون ما استوى صادق بجزي عبير دس سلوى برسوم يتامنا لباتشوم يك أنه هلو إلى اللي لان 
Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So here, it's right up the world, Amharic. So there we had the English, the Amharic, who the cat fits up wise right there. Here the native speaker, and then after we go through like a verse by verse, HSV, Haile Selassie version, the King of Kings Bible, and the KJV side by side. But first this, the native speaker, Abraham Chabuda here on today's Daily Psalm, Psalm 64. The a cappella version, yes, sir. Sima, Sima. Mazmur sel sasost, bak en nef sel sarat. La mazamran alek a, ye dawit mazmur. Abi tu wadan tebelem men kugizet salotin semay. Kat alatum ferhat nef senad. Kakufu wachango, kamet engo chimbizat saure. Enda saif melasa chon asalu. Marara negerin la madreg. نصحونم بس ورلا من دف كاستن قطرو دنقتي ندفتال اي فرومم لن نرسو لراسا چو كفو نگر ناس انو واتمدن يسورو زند تماكرو ما نسيا ينال يلالو امس انفلقوات سيفتنو مالقو يسو يوست عصابو نالبو يتالق انو اكزياب هيرم مكف كفلا Yeding get him flats, I have also like chowl. And the betacho yasanakla chowl. Yemiawachom hulu idena gitan. So watch hulu farru. Yexiavirinum seratanagaru, seraunum mastawa. Tsadik of exiavir des silawa. Bursumitamanan. Libachom yek and nahulu elililalu. So here, 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 the Royal Amharic verse by verse, HSV, and the KJV verse by verse. Let's see how it sounds. Yes, sir. Here, 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 here. Greetings. 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 May health be given to you and I on our behalf. Today's daily song, according to the Royal Order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, after the order of Melchizedek, Melchizedek. And here in the Book of the Seven Seals, the Metzhaf Kedus of Gautamawi, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, we have today's daily psalm. Daily psalm. Psalm Silsa Arat. Silsa Arat. Psalm 64, Mesmor Silsa Arat, from the Mesmor Dawit, Psalms of David, according to the Authorized Revised Amharic Bible. Weak not behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. We have today's daily psalm, Mezmor Silsa Arat, Psalm 64. Themed as Yete Sadaviwoch Kitat. Yete Sadaviwoch 
Yeta Sadavi, Yeta Sadavi Wotz, the assaulters, the attackers, the assaulters, Kitat, the punishment of the assaulters, Yeta Sadavi Wotz, Kitat, also themed as divine judgment. Today's daily song, Le Mezam Marana Leka, to the chief musician, Ye Dawit. Mezmor, a psalm of David. This is Ma'ab, Wewelid, Wemenfes, Kedus, Ahadu, Amlak, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the one source, Ahadu, Amlak, in Jamralen. We begin. Avetu, Wodante, Belemen, who gives it, is Lotain, Samani, cut a Latin for Hata, Nesen Adin. Hear my voice. Abe to I father his father or father the house or the ante belemen who gize selotain semanye in my prayer when I am beseeching the I my prayer here I cut a lantern for the hata nefsin adin preserve my life from the fear of the enemy cut a lantern for the hat nefsin adin preserve my soul save my soul. From the fear of the enemy. Kutter who let verse two. Kokufuo cha shengo ka amit enyo chima bizata saureng saureng ka kufuo cha shengo ka amit enyo chima bizat saureng. Hide I from the secret counsel of the wicked. Kokufuo cha shengo. And from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. In the safe. In the safe. Who wet their tongue like a sword. Bend the arrows. Bitter. Bitter words in the safe melasachuin asalu merara negrina le madreg nitsuhinema besuera le mena death kestina getaru dinageta ye nedafutal ayafarumim that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Nitsuhinimbas wera le mendef, kestina getaru, dingeta ye nedofutal, aya ferumim, lener sua le rasa choa kufune grinatsen, wet medina isauruzen, temakaru, manesa yayenal, ilalu. They encourage themselves in an evil, in an evil matter. Lener su le rasa they commune of laying snares. They commune of laying snares privily, secretly. They say, who shall see them? They say, who shall see us? Manis Yes, so ye wista sabuna, lebua yet elekeno, yet elekeno. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent, a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. Ametana felguat. Si a fetanu maleku, yesowa ye wist asabuna, a lebu yet elekeno, ekeziabi herima kef kefa yelal, ye dingetema filatsa, ya kweslachwal. But ekeziabi her the sustain of the good, the generous Ab, Father, shall shoot at them with an arrow, ekeziabi herima, ekeziabi herima kef kefa yelal. Yeah, didn't get him off the latter. Yeah, quest latch while. Suddenly shall they be wounded. And the betai cho. Yeah, senaka latch while. Yeah, me, yeah, you watch a whim hulu. Yeah, the nigger talo. 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 So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee. Shall flee. Away, 
and the betacho ya senakala chual yemi ya you watch wem hulu ye de negatalo and all that see them shall be in a mental state of shock ye de negatalo so chulu feru ya gizi ali herinema serata nagaru serawu nema satawalu all and all and all men shall fear shall reverence shall respect so chulu feru feru and shall declare the work of Egeziah here to sustain the good, the generous Ab Father. Yeah, Egeziah here in him, Saratanagaru. And they shall wisely consider his doing. Sarau in him, Astawal, 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 Shadik, the Egeziah here, Desilawal, Versum Yetamina, Levachawima Yekena Hulu, Ilila Yilalu. The righteous shall be glad in Egeziari here, sustain of the good, the generous our Father, Sadiq, the Egeziari here, Desilawal, and shall trust in him, but Arsum Yitamina, 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 and all the upright in heart shall glory, Levachuim Yekena Hulu, Elil Yilalu, Elil, 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 Elil Yilalu. Shall glory and all the upright in heart shall glory. مزمور سل ساسوست بك النف سل سارات لما زمران عليك آه يداويت مزمور عبيتو ودان تبلم منكو جزيه سألو تين سماين كتالاتم فرحات نفس ينادن ككفو وچنگو كامس انجو چن بزات سوري اندى سيف ملاسا چونا سلو مرارا نگرن لما درق نسوهنم بسور لما اندف قستن قطرو دنگتی ندفتن ای فرومم لن رسول راست چوک فون اگر ناز آنو وقت مدن ایساور زند تماک کرو من نسیای نال یلالو آمد این فلگوان صفت تنم مالگو یه سوی اوست عصبون نال بویت آلگ آنو غیاب هرم کف کفیل یه دنگت فلاس آیا قصلا چوال آن دبته چوی اسنا کلا چوال يمي عواتشوم هلو يدنى قطال سوج هلو فرو يكزيابير نم سراتنا قرو سراو نم ماستوا تعادق بكزيابير دسي لوال برسوم يتامنا لباتشوم يكنى هلو الليلالو آه آه Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. 
that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. Shall glory. מזמור סמ"ד למנצח מזמור לדוד. שמע אלוהים קולי ושיחי, מפחד אויב תיצור חיי. תסתירני מסוד מרעים, מרגשת פועלי אבן. אשר שננו כחרב לשונם, דרכו חיצם דבר מר. לראות בם מסתרים תם. פתאום יורוהו ולא יראו, יחזקו למו דבר רע, יספרו לטמון מוקשים, אמרו מי יראה למו, יחפשו עולות, תאמנו חפש, מחופש בקרב איש ולב עמוק, ויורם אלוהים חץ פתאום, היו מתקותם. ויכשילוהו עליהם או לשונם, יתנודדו כל רועבם, ויראו כל אדם, ויגידו פועל אלוהים, ומעשהו ישכילו. נשמח צדיק בדוני, וחסה בו, ויתהללו כל ישרי לב. Yes, 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 here, here, here. here. <laughs> Then said Daniel to the king, O king, live forever. Here, 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 part one, part one right here. Midrash, the study. Bait Midrash, the house of study here. Today's daily psalm. Next level of study here on today's daily psalm. Psalm 64. For the leader, a psalm of David. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Mizmor Samek Dalet. Samek Dalet. Lanatzeach Mizmor Ledawi. Shema'a Elohim Koli. V'tzichi. Mi pachada o'yev. Titzor chayai. Hey, hey, Midrash on today's Psalm. Mizmor Samek Dalet. Samek Dalet. Psalm 64, Psalm LXIV, Lamnatzeach, Mizmor Lid Dawid, for the leader, for the chief musician, Lamnatzeach, Mizmor, a psalm, a chant, intonation, Isis, Mizmor Lid Dawid, of David, of the well beloved. Shema Elohim, Koli, Bissichi, hear my voice, O Elohim, Shema, 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 hear Elohim, O Elohim. Only my voice. B'sichi, b'sichi, b'sichi. In my prayer, in my complaint, in my meditation, in my editation. B'sichi, b'sichi. Mi pachad, mi pachad. From the dread, from the fear. Mi pachad, oyeb. Mi pachad, oyeb. From the fear, the dread of the enemy, of the oyeb. Titzor chayai. Tzor, preserve, protect, guard, Natsar. Tzor, Tzor, Chayai, preserve my life. 
And here, here, Hebraically, this is the Aleph and the Beit verses, the first to second verses, Hebraically, of Psalm 64. For the leader, a Psalm of David. Hear my voice, O Elohim, in my prayer, in my meditation, in my complaint. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Lamnatseach, Mizmon Lidawi, Shema Elohim, Koli, Bitsichi, Mipachad Oyeb, Titsor Chayai. These words are to be read in the light and illumination of what Scripture says elsewhere. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets. His secret to his servants, the prophets. Amos, Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret to his servants, the prophets. Ki lo ya iseh Adonai Yehoweh davar ki yim galah soto illa evadayo hanaviyim. Surely, surely. Adonai, Yahweh, Adonai, he who be who he be will do nothing. Ki lo ya isse Adonai, Yahweh, davar ki im gala sodo il evadayo ha But he revealeth his secret. But he revealeth his secret. Ki im gala sodo. Ki im ki im gala sodo. He revealeth his secret. Gala sodo il ibadayo il ibadayo hanabi he revealeth his secret sodo his secret to his servants ibadayo hanabi the prophets Rav ta Khalifa maintained Hakadosh Baruku the Holy One blessed be he made known to Dawi to David what would be done to Daniel to Daniel and here, here, Midrash note, the entire Mizmor, the entire psalm, the entire Isis, the entire chant is interpreted as a prayer by Dawid in behalf of Daniel, of Daniel. Indeed, had the heathen, had the Goyim, the Gentiles, the nationalities, international community, had the Gentiles, had the heathen, had Ha Goyim, any power at all to do anything to Ha Kadosh, Baruchu, to the Holy One, the Sanctified One, the Set Apart One. The Ayla one, blessed be he, they would have done it. This, the sons of Korah, of Korah, Kore, implied when they said, They have cast fire into thy sanctuary. In Psalm, Psalm 74, verse 7. Shilchu of Aisha, Mia Kedashika, they have set fire. Shilchu Baesh. Thy sanctuary into thy sanctuary. Shilchu ba'esh mikdasheka. They have set mikdasheka thy mikdash, thy sanctuary, thy holy place on fire. Ba'esh ba'esh. Shilchu ba'esh mikdasheka. That is, had Hagoyim, had the heathen, the Gentiles, the nationalities, the nations been able to ascend so as to break into Hashemayim, into the heavens, they would have broken in for the words. But now they break down the carved work thereof with axes and hammers, even from Psalm 74, hear, 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 from Mizmor, Mizmor, Ein Dalet, Ein Dalet, Psalm 74, Psalm LXX IV, where it reads, but now they break down the carved work thereof with axes and hammers. Psalm 74, here, 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 verse 6. They, and now all the carved work thereof together, they strike down with hatchet and hammers. Pia to he ha yahada. Be kashil we ke la fota yahilomun. This means that since Hagoyim, since the heathen, the Gentiles, the nationalities were unable to break into Shemaim, heaven, they broke down the sanctuary on earth. They broke down the sanctuary on the earthly plane. Here, here, here. Midrash, Midrash note. Here to Mizmor Samek Dalet. Psalm 74 is attributed to Asaph. The inclusion of Asaph among the three sons of Korah 
This follows the opinion of Rav Yohanan. And here, 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 this is also a reference to Psalm 74, verses 2 to 3. Zikora edateka kanita edem galta sheveta nachlateka har zion ze shekanta bau ha rima pe fe ameka le ma shuota netzach kola hera oyeva bakodesh. Remember zikor thy congregation, thy aggregation, zikor edateka that thou hast gotten of old kanita. Edem, as thou hast purchased, thou hast gotten from the Edem. Zikor edateka kanita Edem. That thou hast redeemed to be the tribe of thine inheritance. Galta sheveta nachlateka. And Mount Zion. And Mount Zion. Wherein thou hast dwelt. And Mount Zion. This. This Mount Zion. Har Zion ze. Har Zion ze. Shakanta. Bau, wherein thou hast dwelt, Shakanta, Bau, Harima, Fameka, Le Machuota Netzach, lift up thy steps, Fameka, Harima, Fameka, lift up thy steps, because of the perpetual ruins, Le Machuot Netzach, even all the evil that the enemy hath done in the sanctuary, Kola Hera'a. Oyeb Bakodesh 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 Zikor Edateka Zikor Edateka Kanitak Edem Dalta Sheveta Nachlateka Har Zion Ze Shakanta Bawu Harima Fe Ameka Le Mashuot Netzah Kola Hera'a Oyeb Bakodesh And the words The kings of the earth stand up and the rulers take counsel together to gather against Jehovah, against he who be who he be, and against Meshicho, against his anointed, his Messiah, against his Christ, even Christ in his kingly character. Yitayatsavu Malke Eretza Vi Nozari Vi Roznim Nostu Yahad Ali Yahuwa Vi Al Meshicho. The kings of the earth stand up. Yitayatsavu Malke Eretz and the rulers. We Roznim, we Roznim, and the rulers, Nostu Yahad, take counsel together. We Roznim, Nostu Yahad, against he who be who he be, against Jehovah, Ali Yahuwah, and against his anointed. We Al Meshicho, Mizmor Beit. Psalm 2, verse 2. This means that because Hagoyim, the nations, the nationalities, because the heathen could not prevail against Ha'el, Ha'el Lohim in Shemaim in heaven, they took counsel against Daniel, 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 as is said. All the presidents of the kingdom, the prefects and the satraps, to counsel together that the king should establish a statute and make a strong interdict that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, except of thee, I, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the interdict and sign the writing. Here, here, Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verses 8 to 9a. Ita ya atu kola sarkeya malukuta siganaya va e hashadara penaya hadavaraya ua fahevata le kayama kayama malka ula takafa e saradia kola dia yivaya va ua min kola la ve enasha ada yomima tilatina lahena minak. Malka yita remeya legova ara yavata. All the presidents of the kingdoms, the prefects and the satraps, the ministers and the governors have consulted together that the king should establish a statute and make a stronger edict that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save except of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions. Kaana malka tikima. A Sara ve tira shuma kutava di la le hashanaya kudata madaya ua farasa di la te day. Now, O king, 
establish the interdict, sign the writing, that it be not changed, according to the law of the Medes and Persians, that altereth not. The presidents and the satraps said to Darius, Art thou not a king to do just such? All kings establish statutes and make laws, as it is said, even in Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 9b, according to the law of the Medes and Persians. Kadata Madai Ua Faras, according to the law of the Medes and Persians. Kadata Madai u Faras. But in thy lifetime, thou hast not established any statute. The king, hearing them say, Now, O king, establish the interdict and sign the writing. Ka'an Malika Tiki Maisara We Tirshuma Katava. Now, O king, now, O king, establish the interdict and sign the writing. Gave in to them. He gave in to them when he heard them say, Now, O king, establish the interdict and sign the writing. Gave in to them. And King Darius signed the writing and the interdict. Even here, 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 Daniel, Daniel chapter 6. Verse 9a and verse 10. Kola kevela dina malika dara yaves dari yawesa ri shama katava ve esara. Wherefore King Darius, wherefore King Darius signed the writing and the interdict. Kola kevela dina malika dari yawesa ri shama katava ve esara. And when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, his windows being open in his chamber toward Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. He kneeled upon, upon his knees three times a day and prayed. He hear Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 11. The Daniel Kadia Yida'a Dia Reshima Katava Allah Le Vaite Ve Kavina. Pe tiahana le, be elite, negeda, ye rushalem, ve zimnina tilata, ve yoma, hu, bareka alla bira kohia, ua me alea, ua modea kodama elahe, kola kevela dia heva, aveda mina kadamata dina. And when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house. Now his windows were open in his upper chamber toward Jerusalem. And he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did aforetime, saying, Hear my voice, O God, Elohim, in my prayer, preserve my life from the terror of the enemy. Shema Elohim Koli ve Sihi Mi Pahado Yeva Titsor Hayai Hear my voice, O Elohim. Hear Shema Elohim. Hear Elohim Koli my voice. Be Sihi be Sihi in my prayer, in my meditation, in my complaint. Mi Pahado Yeva Titsor Hayai. Preserve my life from the terror, from the dread of the enemy. Mi Pahad Oyev Titsor Hayai. When they sought out Daniel, they found him as he stood praying, as it is said. Then these men came tumultuously and found Daniel, Daniel, praying and making supplication before his God. Here, 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 Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 12. Edain Guvraya Ileka. Haregishu ve ha shekahu le Daniela baeha ua mita hanena kodama laheya. Then these men came tumultuously, tumultuously, and found Daniel and found Daniel making petition and supplication before his God. E dayina gubraya ileka ha regishu we ha shekahu le Daniel baeh ua mita hanena kodam elahe. 
Whereupon Daniel Daniel uttered the following words, Lifne Elohim, before Elohim, the true good, the true God. These men come tumultuously up on upon me. Hide me from the counsel of evildoers, from the tumult of the workers of iniquity. Even here, 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 today's psalm is more Samek Dalet, Psalm 64, verse 3. Meya Rikshata Po Hide me. Tastereini. Tastirani. Tastirani. Tastereini. Hide me. Hide I. Tastereini. Mi soda. Mi raim. From the soda council of the evil doers of evil doers. Tastereini. Mi soda. Mi raim. Me rikshata po elea then. From the tumult. From the tumult. Me rikshat. From the rikshat. Me rikshat. Of the workers po elei of iniquity as soon as the presidents and satraps found the means they approached the king as is said they came near him and spoke before the king concerning the king's interdict hast thou not signed an interdict that every man that shall make petition to any god or man within 30 days save to thee except to the eye o king shall be cast into the den of lions the king answered and said, The thing is true, according to the law of the Medes and Persians, that altereth not. Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, who is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the interdict that thou hast signed, but make his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore as fleas, and set his heart on Daniel, on Daniel to deliver him and he labored till the going down of the sun to rescue him Daniel 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 chapter 6 verses 13 to 15 Bedaina Rivu Ve Amarina Kodama Malaka Ale Sara Malaka Hila Sara Re Eshamta Di Kola Enasha Di Yiv Ayamin Kola Elaha Ve Enasha Al Ada Yomina Tilatina Lahena Minaka Malaka Yita Remeya Le Gov Ara Yavata Aneya Malaka Ve Amara Yatsiva Milita ke data madaya ufares di la te idea. Then they came near and spoke before the king concerning the king's edict. Hast thou not signed an interdict that every man that shall make petition to any god or man within thirty days, save to the eye, except to the eye, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true, according to the law of the Medes and Persians, that altereth not. Be Daina Enoa Vi Amrina Kodama Malika Dia Daniela Dia Mina Benea Geluta Dia Yehuda La Sama Elaik Malika Te Aima Vi Alai Sara Dia Re Shamta Vi Zimanina Telata Be Yoma Ba Aya Ba Ute Then Answer they and said before the king, that Daniel, that Daniel, D. Daniel, who is of the children of the captivity of Judah, that Daniel, D. Daniel, D. Amina, Benaya, Galuta, D. Yehud, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the interdict that thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, E dayi na malaka kudia miya lita shema'a, was so displeased and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to rescue, to rescue him. E dayi na malaka kudia milita shema'a, sagia, sagia be eish. Elohia, the Alla Daniela, Sambala, Le Cheza Vote, the Ada Me Alea, Shimsha, Heva, 
mishatadar lehatsalute. As the presidents and the satraps reproached the king, he said, look you, you are not to be believed. And so they kept quiet the whole day. At the going down of the sun, Daniel, Daniel began to pray, saying, because of these wicked men, these ratchet men, should not a man pray? Hence, here, 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 it is said, the king labored till the going down of the sun to rescue him. We Ada me aleya shimsha wa mieshitadara lehats alute. And he labored till the going down of the sun to rescue him. And here, here, Midrash note, the sense seems to be more logical if one assumes that the speaker was the king rather than Daniel. Quote, at the going down of the sun, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel began to pray. He, the king, Malaka, had said, because of these wicked, these ratchet men, he, Daniel, will not pray. Hence, it is said, the king labored till the going down of the sun to rescue him. The king challenged Daniel's, Daniel's accusers to prove that Daniel was violating the edict and hoping and hoped that knowing of the accusation, Daniel, Daniel would be careful not to pray. But when at sundown, Daniel, Daniel prayed, nevertheless, the king could no longer protect him. So here, here, the point being that it's the king, the king who is saying because of these wicked men, he will not pray. And therefore, the king labored till the going down of the sun to rescue, to rescue Daniel. But when the sun went down, Daniel, Daniel prayed nevertheless. Thus, the king could no longer protect him. Surely, if Daniel did what he did for the sake of a prayer that a man may omit, without fear of being cut down by heaven or being put to death by a court, how much more ought we, I and I, to heed other obligations for whose neglect we are liable, we are liable to be cut down by Shemaim, by heaven, or put to death by a court. And although the king sought to save Daniel, he could not do so. For the presidents and the satraps said to him, quote, Thou, the eye, has told us, thou hast told us, you are not to be believed. Behold, thou hast seen for thyself. Then, as scripture says, the king commanded, and they brought Daniel, Daniel, and cast him into the den of lions. Here, 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 Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 17. Bedaina malka mara haitina le Daniel. Then the king commanded and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spoke and said to Daniel, Thy God whom thou service continually he will deliver thee a lahak dia anit palacha le bia te dira hua ye shezavinak and a stone was brought and laid up on upon the mouth of the den daniel daniel chapter 6 verse 18 it vehetayita vena cheda ve sumata alapuma guba and a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den. But whence, where, where stones in Babylon? From where are stones in Babylon? But whence, stones in Babylon? This stone flew from the land of Israel, the Eretz Israel, and came to rest at the mouth of a den. Rav Huna, in the name of Rav Jose, interpreted the word Evan, Eben, stone, as meaning that an angel, an angel, in the likeness of a lion, came and sat at the mouth of the den. Minyani, and the proof, the verse, my God hath sent his angel and hath shut the lion's mouths and they have not hurt me and they have not hurt me. Daniel, Daniel chapter 6 verse 23, my God hath sent his angel and hath shut the lion's mouths and they have not hurt me. 
אלהי שלח מלכה ואה סגר פום אר ירעת ולה חבלוני כל כבלדי דמו היא זקו זקו היא שתקחת לי ואף קודמייק מלכה חבול לה עבדת. My God have sent his angel and shut and have shut the lion's mouth. אלהי שלח מלכי ואה סגר פום אריהוואטה. And they have not hurt and they have not hurt me. ולה ולה חבלוני ולה חבלוני for as much as before him innocency was found in me and also before thee o king have i done no hurt have i done no hurt call a kvela di koda mohi zaku hi shete kahat li we afa koda maik malka khbula la update Then, then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither neither were diversions brought before him, and his sleep fled. His sleep fled from him. Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 19. Edayina izala malka lehikleha uavata tevata vedachevana la hanaela kodamohia veshinateha nadata elohi. Then the king went to his palace. palace and fasted and passed the night fasting neither neither were diversions brought before him and his sleep fled from him for he said what did this affliction that i should be the cause of this man's dying see in me that made it come then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions and when he came near to the den to daniel he cried with a pained voice O oh, Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually, itinually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Here, here Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 20 and 21. Be dayin malka bi shifara fara yikuma bi nagriha ua ve hite behalla le guba di ariawata izala then the king rose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions ua ka mika reve le guba le daniela bik ala itsiva ze ika aneya malka ve amar le daniel daniela veda eya laha khaya And when he came near to the den to Daniel, he cried with a pained voice. The king spoke and said to Daniel, 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 Eredai laha chaya. O oh, Daniel servant of the living servant of the living God Daniel eved elaha khaya is thy god is thy god elaha ka is thy god whom thou servest continually i continually able to deliver thee the eye from the lions Daniel eved elaha khaya elaha ka di anitihe palakh le Bita dira haikila le shezavuta kamina ariyata and though Daniel though Daniel heard he did not answer because he was reading the shema then said Daniel to the king o king live forever my god have sent his angel his angel and have shut the lions mouths Daniel Daniel chapter 6 verse 23 אלהי אשלח מלכי ואה סגר פום אריהוואטה. My God, אלהי have sent his angel, שלח מלכי, and shut the lion's mouths. 
Ua Sagar Pum Aryavata. Ua Sagar Pum Aryavata. 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 And shut the lion's mouth. Ve la chabeluni. Ve la chabeluni. And they have not hurt me. Ve la chabeluni. How did this happen? When Daniel, when Daniel went down to the lions, they became like tame beasts in his presence. As is said, the lion, which is mighty and turneth not away for any, became a tame beast. Even in Mishle, Mishle Shlomo, in the Mashal in Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 30, the lions, the lion, the lion that is mighty and turneth not away for any became a tame beast. Laisha Gibora Babehema the Lo Yashuva Mipne Kol the Lion Laish Mighty Gibor Babehema among the Behema among beasts Laish Gibor Babehema with Lo Yashuva Mipne Kol and turneth not away for any we lo yashu and doesn't turn away me call from the face of all from the face of any laisha gibor babehema with lo yashu me call for hakadosh baruku the holy one blessed be he said let a lion come and deliver a lion from the mouth of a lion for hakadosh the holy one the sanctified set apart one the isla one Baruch Hu, blessed be he, said, May a lion come and deliver a lion from the mouth of a lion. And here, here, Midrash note, note here on Mizmur Samek Dalet, Psalm 64. The first lion was the angel, the angel, who appeared in the likeness of a lion. The second was Daniel, 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 who, being of the tribe of Yehuda, of Judah, the tribe of Judah, was considered a lion's whelp. See, referred to Bereshith, Genesis, Genesis chapter 49, verse 9. Gor Ari Yehuda, Miet Arefa, Bini Alita, Karaa, Rabatsa, K Ari, Uak Lavi, Mia Yikimen. Judah, Yehuda is a lion's whelp. Judah, Yehuda, is a lion's well. Gor, Ari, Yehuda, from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Mit Refa, Bini Alita, he stooped down. Kara, he couched as a lion. Rabata, Kari, and as a lioness. Uka Lavi, Uka Lavi, Uka Lavi. Who shall rouse him up? Me yikimen. Me yikimenu. Who shall rouse him up? Gor aye Yehuda. Mit ref bini alita. Ka raa. Ra bata ka arye. Ua ka lavi. Me ya yikimen. 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 Yes, 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 yes. A little, little, little more right there. That was the Aramaic. Much of that was the Aramaic from the book of Daniel. A few places with the Hebrew when Daniel was praying. That was in the Hebrew. That's the Aramaic. Still, you know, practicing and perfecting the Aramaic. But a little bit more here, here, here. Just a, just a fulfillment here. It's a couple more minutes. This last section, the Midrash. So, um, the slicha, slicha, you know, forgive I for some of the little errors in the Aramaic right there, but you know, practice makes perfect. Here, 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 64. Fulfillment right here. Today's daily song. Psalm 64. Then said Daniel to the king, O king, live forever. My God hath sent his angel, his angel, and hath shut, and hath shut, and hath shut the lion's mouth. Here, 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 Daniel, Daniel, chapter 6, verse 23, 
Hear, hear, hear from verse 22. Edayin, Daniel, Ima Malka, Malila Malka, Le Alamina Hei. Then said Daniel to the king, O king, live forever, live for ever. Edayin, Daniel, Ima Malka, Malila. Malka le almina chayi, my God, Elahi hath sent his angel, Shalach Malekeh, and shut the lion's mouths. U Sagarpum Aryavata, U Sagarpum Aryavata, and they have not hurt, they have not hurt me. With La Chabluni, with La Chabluni. How did this happen? When Daniel, when Daniel went down to the lions, they became like tame beasts in his presence, in his face, in his perception. As is said even in Mishle Shlomo, in the Mishle, the Mashal, Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 30. The lion that is mighty and turneth not away for any became a tame beast. The lion that is mighty and turneth not away for any became a tame beast. Laish Gibor Babhema the Loya Shuva Mipne call the lion Laish which is mightiest among beasts Gibor Babhema the lion mighty among beasts Laish Gibor Babhema with Lo Yashu and not turning and turneth not with Lo Yashu Mipne call from the face of all Mipne call and turneth not away for any. Laish Gibor Babehema with Lo Yashu Mipne Kol for Hakadosh Baruku for the Holy One, the Sanctified One, the Set Apart One, the Ayla One, Hakadosh. Blessed be He Baruch who said, Let a lion come and deliver, and I liver and deliver a lion from the mouth of a lion. And here, here, Midrash note, the first lion was the angel, the angel, Malak, who appeared in the likeness of a lion. The second was Daniel, 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 who, being of the tribe of Yehuda, the tribe of Judah, was considered a lion's whelp, was considered a lion's whelp. Bereshith, Genesis, Genesis chapter 49, verse 9. Gur aye Yehuda, miat refa bini alita, karaa ravatsa, ke arye, ua ke lavi, mia yikimenu. Judah is a lion's whelp. Gur aye Yehuda, Judah, a lion's whelp, a lion's whelp, Yehuda. Gur aye Yehuda, from the prey, mit aref, mit aref, from the prey, my son, bini. Thou art gone up, Alita, the eye Alia up, the eye go up. Meet Aref Bini, Alita. He stooped down. Kara, Kara, Kara. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. Ravat Kaari, Rabat Kaari. As a lioness. Ukalavi, 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 U. And ke as lavi, and as a lioness lavi. Me yik imenu, me who yik imenu, who will rouse him up? Gor aye a Yehuda, meet ref beni alita, karaa, ravata kaari, uaka lavi, me a yik imenu. Then was the king exceeding glad, and commanded that they should take Daniel, Daniel up out of the den. And the king commanded, and they brought those men that had accused Daniel, Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions. Here, 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 Daniel, Daniel, chapter 6, verses 24 and 25. Daniela mina guba ve kola chivala la hiya shetekah be dia he mina be ala he 
Then was the king exceeding glad and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no manner of hurt, no manner of hurt was found up on, upon him because he had trusted, because he had trusted in his God. And the king commanded, and they brought those men that had accused Daniel. And they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. And they had not come to the bottom of the den when the lions had the mastery of them and broke all their bones in pieces. For the accusers had said to the king, because the lions were already satiated, they did not devour Daniel. They didn't devour, they didn't eat up Daniel. The king said to them, if the lions are satiated, go ye, go y'all down and lodge with them this night. Then we shall see whether they are satiated, whether they are satisfied. And here, here, Midrash note, perhaps derived from the words that we have even in today's Psalm, Mizmo Samek Dalet, Psalm 64, 64 verse 9, Hebraically that reads, So they make their own tongue a stumbling to themselves. So they make their own tongue a stumbling to themselves. Vayach shiluhu aleimo lishonam. So they make their own tongues a stumbling to themselves. Vayach shiluhu aleimo lishonam. And a stumbling, a stumbling, a stumbling, a stumbling to it them upon themselves their tongues. Vayach shiluhu aleimo lishonam. Lishonam, their tongues. So when the accusers were cast into the den, they were at once devoured, as is said, but God shall shoot at him, at them with an arrow, but God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be smitten. Vayorim Elohim Chaitz, Pitom Chayua Makotam, but Elohim doth shoot at them with an arrow suddenly. Why your Elohim hates. Thence they are, are their wounds. Pitom, Pitom, Hayu, Hayu, Pitom, Hayu, Makotam, Pitom, Hayu, Makotam. Thence they are, are their wounds. But Elohim shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be smitten. Why your Elohim hates. Pitom, Hayu, Makotam. The moral here, they, them, not he, they, not he, them, not we, will be ruined by their mischievous talk. All them chat, chat, chatter, chat, flatters, smatters, and shatters. As scripture says, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives, even in Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 25. And they cast them into the lion's den. Their children, and their wives, Uale goba ariawata rimo inuna binehon ua nishehon. How many? How many were cast into the den of lions? Mark, mark what scripture says, even in Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verses 2 to 3. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom a hundred and twenty satraps, and over them three presidents, of whom Daniel of whom Daniel was one. Shifara, Kodama, Dariaris, 
va hikem ala malakuta la e ha shidara penaya me a ve asarina dia le heona be kola malakuta. It please Darius to set over the kingdom a hundred and twenty satraps who should be throughout the whole kingdom. Shefara kodama dariaues. Wa he came ala malkuta la e ha shedara penaya me a we esarina dia le heona bekol malakuta and over them three presidents of whom Daniel Daniel was one that these satraps might give account to them and that the king should have no damage ve ela mia nehona sarkina telata di daniel hada mia nehona di leona e ha shadara penaya ielena ya herina lehona alma u amalka la he hevea nazik thus therefore there were 122 men and 122 wives and 122 children for scripture says them their children and their wives inun benehon ua neshehon them inun their children benehon and their wives ua neshehon making 366 in all making 366 in all and for every single one of these, there were four lions who tore each one into four pieces, one piece for every beast, the beast tearing them apart even before they got down to the bottom of the den, as is said, they had not come to the bottom of the den. The la mito le araita gubad. And they had not come to the bottom of the den. We la mito le araita guba. As is said, there were 1,464 lions. There were 1,464 lions. Hence, here it is said, even in today's Psalm Mizmor Samech, Dalet, Psalm 64. He that is righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall take refuge in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Yismach Sadiq by Yahuwah ve hasavo ve yita halu kola ishre lev. The righteous shall be glad in Jehovah and he who be who he be. Yismach Sadiq by Yahuwah and shall take refuge in him. We hasavo. And all the upright in heart shall glory. We yita halu kola ishre lei, and shall halu shall praise. We yita halu to glory to praise. We yita halu call all ishre upright ishre lei, all the upright in heart. Yismach sadik by Yahuwah. We hasavu. We yita halu call ishre lei. Them shall glory, them shall glory, and I shall glory, yita halalu, in the victory of right over wrong, good over evil. Yismach sadik by Yahuwah, we chasabo, we yita halalu, kola yishrei lei, righteous, be glad in he who be who he be in Jehovah, and shall take refuge in him, and all the upright in heart, heart to call, shall glory. In the victory of good over a 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 good over hallelujah 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 Yes, 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 la la to, bokor to, yes, I, yes, I do. La la to, la la to, bokor to, yes, I. 
Good night. Good rising. Shalom, Havari. Outro. Yes, sir. Hebrew, Hebrew, yeah. In English, here, here, yes. Hebrew. Mizmor Samech Dalet Lam Natsayah Mizmor Le David. Shema Elohim Koli Vesiti. Mi Pahad Oyev Titsor Hagai. Tastireni Misod Mereim. מרגשת פועלי אבן, אשר שננו חרב לשונם, דרכו חיצם דבר מר, לירות במסתרים תם, פתאום יורוהו ולא יראו, יחזקו למו דבר רע, יספרו לטמון מוקשים, אמרו מי יראה למו, יחפשו עולות תאמנו חפש מחופש בקרב איש ולב עמוק ויורם אלוהים חץ פתאום היו מכותם ויכשילוהו עליהם או לשונם יתנודדו כל רועבם ויראו כל אדם ויגידו פה על אלוהים ומעשהו השכילו ישמח צדיק בדוני וחס אבו ויתהללו כל ישרי לב. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep, is deep, is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory, shall glory. Yes, yes, yes. Baruch Hashem, blessed be the name. Hashem Yeshua, have a good good night and a blessed rise. Hashem Yeshua, yes, I, I, Shalom Chavarim, Shalom.